Hey down please, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into kind of a little fun story here. I think you're going to love it, find it interesting. We have a bit of a like a Cinderella type of story going on with Taeyang. And I definitely want to get into that because my Taeyang baby, he is a prince. He is the prince we all deserve. Not all of us will get him. We also have Jimin who is apparently out of fan meet. And then he met his little princess or queen there. Or whatever you'd like to call it. I love to get into the tea on this. So if you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video drops and if you're a hater like to be the first to leave your hate comment please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so now let go the first thing i want to start off with is our baby boy treasure taeyang or v taeyang is someone that i can probably imagine to be a bit of like a hopeless romantic i feel like he cares very deeply about everyone this includes children and of course he cares about his other bandmates as well Tang even mentioned before how he would like to see his bandmates' children. This, of course, is when they decide to get children, or if they decide to ever have children. I can see Tang as that kind of old, caring grandpa, maybe on the block. Has a lot of stories. A lot of the kids go there to listen to his stories. He probably gives out food and advice to people who need it. I also feel like he's a bit of like an old soul currently, too. So I can definitely see him as a great dad. But this is not about children, his children, or his bandmates' children. It's not about the children he has treated well in the past. This is about an instance at an award show, which made me feel like Taeyang was this amazing person. And he was super nice, possibly to a female idol. Now this award show, I had seen pictures kind of floating around of Taeyang in a suit. Not just his regular old suit, but this hairstyle with this suit, ooh. Now this photo, he has never looked more father-like. He looks so wise and kind. He just looks so good in that suit. Like such zaddy material. You know, that type of risk it all type of material. And I never knew which award show this came from, but now now I know, it's this one. I bet Taeyang knew he looked hot that day too. I mean, of course he did. He owns mirrors, right? Apparently while in the award show performing Idol, something caught Taeyang's eye. He bent down to pick it up and it was something that was really sparkly. First off, when you're performing, I don't know how you have the attention to look around and bend down and pick something up, but Taeyang, he notices things. Because if I had seen that earring, I'd probably just leave it there. But Taeyang in this performance looked a little bit distracted. Maybe he was thinking of who this beautiful woman who has this earring could be. He held it in his hand and he went over to consult Jimin on what this could be. Jimin looks super confused as you would be. Like, why are you showing me an earring? And probably more so the reaction of why are you touching that? Jimin gave Tang kind of this big shrug and then Tang pretty much decided he was just going to put it back on the floor where he found it. Just let it be there. It's good. Tang then walked away. He looked like he was a little bit uneasy, perhaps about the earring or maybe something else. He maybe found it hard or difficult to accept that the earring did not have a home. It's a little bit of a romantic Cinderella story, I kind of think so, right? I think Tang wanted to locate its official owner or perhaps Tang just has a thing for earrings. I mean, we know this with Taekook. Some of these Taekook moments where he is obsessed with ears. Taeyang loves ears. I have two ears. I will grow a third ear if he wants. I'm very glad that as I mentioned, Taeyang has like this big heart and he cares about things and he's very empathetic. Even something as small as an earring. I mean, just looking at this earring, you can probably tell that it's something that is not cheap. It's super sparkly. It obviously has a lot of little crystals and jewelry in there, which if it's worn by anyone on stage, and likely it is, then it's probably an expensive K-pop idol earring. They don't send K-pop idols to these award shows with some cheap plastic fake diamond earrings. So who was this person that just lost their earring? Well, armies definitely had some theories. Now, these are just theories because, well, to this day, we don't even know who the official owner of the earring was. No one has come out to say it was them. And we don't even know if it's rightfully gone back to the correct owner. But people were looking at some of the girls and noticed that in the picture, you could see Wendy from Red Velvet had an earring on that looked very similar to what Tam was holding in his hand. But she only had one ear with that earring. So it's likely that the other one was lost. But we can't see what is completely on Tang's hand to even compare if it's the same earring. But if you do look closely on the picture and you see kind of on Wendy's ear, you see that there is something on there. So I don't know if this was the earring or not, like it was supposed to be an asymmetrical thing. Or maybe one of the earring just kind of snapped off and the hook kind of stayed on there, but then the rest of it fell down, which was the half that Tang found. But we have no idea whether this is true or not. I don't know if she just walked on stage with one dangly earring or if she had two and then out of nowhere it just fell off. But I guess it doesn't really matter now. It would be so cool if Taeyang took the earring, put it in his pocket, went backstage, found out who it could be, because likely our queens, Red Velvet, would probably be backstage, getting ready, doing what queens do. I cannot relate. I 
am not royalty like they are, Taehyung could just go over there and hand it to them. But apparently I wasn't the only one to call this a Cinderella type of romantic story. One person even had like an alternate universe or AU. See, I'm cool. I know the lingo. All right. I know AU means alternate universe. They wrote this letter on the Twister that said this. Cinderella AU, where Tay finds an earring and has to go find the person with the other pair. Is it Wendy or Sana? I totally agree. This needs to be a thing. I think it's cute that he found the earring. Taehyung really has an eye out for these things and little attention to detail that other people just wouldn't notice. As you can probably see, Jimin didn't care that much about it. Hey, that's fine too. I probably would have ignored it as well. Jimin may not notice small details on stage, but he is no stranger to small details of armies. He often likes to interact with armies, even if it's just in the smallest of ways. And then it makes that particular army's day. But also other armies, seeing how kind BTS is to other armies, makes them believe that one day when they meet BTS, BTS will be just as kind to them. And that's great too. This one army got to live a little bit of like a fairy tale moment with Jimin, of course, and what a lucky person. A lucky queen is what she is. This story was sent to me by a sweet dumpling. So thank you so much for sending this. I really appreciate it. And I thought it was such a fun thing to look up and find out about. I actually did not know about this previously. So this took place at a fan meet and not one of those fan meets where the K-pop idol or whoever stands in front of a backdrop and you just go up and take a picture. This was one where they had a long table and each of them kind of sit on the table and you go down in the line. So you meet one person, talk to them, gift them something, whatever, and then you go down to the next person, you do the same until you meet all of them separately. There was this queen army, her name was Monica. Monica, you queen, I live through you. She gave a crown that apparently she had and asked Jimin to put it on. And then he actually took it and wore it. Then Jimin gave her a matching one and told Monica to put it on. And then he said, you are a princess. I can just die now. Like I feel euphoric for her. You know how some people get like secondhand and embarrassment, but this is like the opposite of that. It's like secondhand accomplishment. Like I feel like there's nothing better than this moment. I have lived through her. And after I've seen this, I have peaked. Jimin of course had such a beautiful smile on his face and then of course showed so much love to her. He looked so happy to get the crown and probably was blushing and feeling really happy. There is just such cute and funny moments going on. So many moments within this moment that just makes this moment so explosive. Take a shot every time I say moment. Even when Monica slid down to talk to the next person at the fan meet, which was Taeyeon. Jimin took his crown, he kind of just straightened it up on his head and even gave Monica this kind of like side look smile, kind of like, thank you for this, I got you, I'm gonna wear it, I appreciate it. It was literally the kindest thing he could do. Because now that I know if I go to a fan meet and I were to give him something or a gift or something that I think he would enjoy, he will accept it and properly like it. And then be sure that if I gave him a gift, he will keep it and cherish it for as long as he needs to before I guess he has to throw it out. I don't think he throws out any of his stuff in particular, but obviously if it's like breaking or ripping or whatever, then yeah, throw it out. But obviously it would mean a lot for him to keep it up until that point. But then on the other side, there's a lot of celebrities who would probably just take it off right after they finish meeting you. Like, okay, I wore it for a little interaction. Now I'm gonna take it off and be with this next person. And then they have this attitude of like, well, you should be happy I even wore it at all. So obviously Jimin is not like that. But obviously I'm not saying that Jimin or any of the BTS boys have to put it on if it's super uncomfortable and that they need to wear ARMY's gifts for however long the event is. But I feel like it would be a bit rude if you did wear it and then take it off right after. Like if you want to keep it on and then you realize after a few minutes it's a little bit uncomfortable and then you take it off, I think that's totally fine. And I feel like that's what BTS does, which is so kind and polite. I felt like a lot of armies might feel a little bit jealous. One army kind of wrote this, which was unbelievably cute. This was of course a response to the fan meet. They wrote, okay, well she is lucky. Seriously, that girl's pretty as well. This is definitely a moment that she is going to remember for a lifetime. A moment she will tell her kids. A moment she will boast about to her husband, make her husband feel jealous, but then she will continue to boast and argue with her husband about how much she loves Taeyong more than him. Eventually they will get a divorce and she will marry Taeyong and live happily ever after. Oh wait, Taeyong is my husband. Okay, so scratch that. Taeyong just marries me. She stays with her husband. And then that's it. You know, that's like a good ending for me. I'm happy. I'm joking. I'm kidding. Of course. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm featuring in this comment right here. Thank you so much for your cause. As always, I do have a Patreon. If you want to go over to my Patreon and kind of check that out, anything you contribute over there really helps kind of give back to this channel, make it better, help me make better videos, all that jazz over there. So make sure you check it out. You can get exclusive content over there, such as music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things. Link in the top description down below. If you also want to support another way, you can just by watching all my videos to the end. That means so much to me. And of course, it matters more than a thumbs up and all that stuff does. So make sure you go ahead and do that as well. Obviously, if you're watching to here, you've probably done that already. There's two videos that will appear on the screen. So click on one of those. See you on the next one. Bye.